Okay, we have a result. We have some white smoke from the judges. Um, Philip Campagna from Bath Spa University is going to say a few words and then I'm going to read out the results. So, Parents are going to join in as well. Bonjour. Bonjour. Tag. Tag. Buongiorno. Buenos dias. Ni hao ma. Ni hao. I she won't stop there. Um, yes, that as well. <laughs> what was we saying? Someone said, all right. <laughs> Very endeavour. If you go to Cornwall, they say, handsome. <laughs> anyway, that's language for you. Um, I'd just like to say, first of all, uh, a great big well done and thank you to all the contestants this morning. Um, our job was made very difficult, thank you very much. Um, we were involved, obviously, in the regions. We were involved. <laughs> Testing. We were involved, we were involved in the regions, uh, in, in the finals and so on. Um, this, this is just another level, it's absolutely fantastic. So, yeah. well done, all the contestants. Say very much because you're all dying to know. So this is like that. Oh, I can't um, just, just two things I'd like to say. One, it is. One, it's it's great to see. I have to say this. It's great to see the number of boys involved in languages and the speaking competition. Because as you can see, I'm outnumbered. <laughs> I run a PGCE course at Bar Spa. And in over eight years, I've had about 80, 90 students, only about, it's under 10, males. We have a shortage of males in the language fraternity, as it were. Fraternity, male, brother. And so, well done. And it's great to see. And the second thing, it's great to see the spread of languages that we have here this morning. Absolutely fantastic. And that's a, a big thank you to the schools, to the teachers, who put in all that time and all that effort, and poor teachers, I was on once about five years ago, and I know what it's like. We always seem to be getting hammered for everything. Everything is our fault, and it's not. And if there's proof of the fantastic work you're doing, we saw it here this morning. Absolutely brilliant. So well done. Well done. <laughs> and I think that's it. We're ready to announce. You're ready for the, uh, the announcements. Okay. In key stage three... The winner, we'll go straight into the winner, is Robert from Braunton. Um, the judges had so much difficulty deciding on the runner-up that they decided to award two prizes for runners-up. So there are two runners-up, runner-ups, whatever, there are two second places and they go to Sophia from Greendown, and Tabitha from Pilton. Now, as all performances were excellent, we did say we're going to give a certificate to everybody and a small prize to everybody. So can we also have Cameron and Minna? Can you come up, please? Cameron, go get a certificate and a prize. Okay, well done to all of you. I have to say, I think the standard at Key Stage 3 was truly amazing for Key Stage 3. It really was good. So well done, all of you. Okay, thank you. And Key Stage 4, our winner is Lewis from Chew Valley. And the runner-up in Key Stage 4 is Emily from the Royal High School.
So can we also have Ferdinand and Nathaniel to come and get certificates and a prize? Because you were all winners really by being here. Okay, thank you very much to all of you, because I say you are all winners, and Philip's absolutely right. I mean, it is so encouraging to see such a high level from these young people, and so many boys involved. It's absolutely right, because it's been such a, a, a female-dominated world, so that's really nice. Okay, thank you. Well done, everybody.